Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a quick three card spread for Aries. Let's start with Aries just because of this month. And then we will go straight down the line to our Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So you may have been having some uh, work frustrations, like you may have been irritated about your work or whatever. Uh, wow, more came out than I expected, but anyways. You may have been irritated about a situation with your job and like you're pretty much over that is what I'm getting. Uh, you're actually uh, very determined to get out of a situation and bring forth something new. Like you are actually uh, I don't know it could actually be like within your work starting a new career or something like that. Like you're actually looking into getting a new career, new job, new something because you, you're you just done with the old situation. You're walking away from it, you've had enough, and you're not going back is what I'm picking up from this read. So, I don't know, I can pull a card to see what you need to heal since we got time. But it does look like this new venture you're going on with your new job will be very prosperous for you. Yeah, be careful because you're going to have some temptation coming your way. So, and this is probably spirit testing you to see if you're ready to raise your vibration or not. So, I would just be careful with that if I was you. All right, there you go, Aries. Hey guys, so this is a quick three card spread for Taurus here. You could be overcoming some uh, addictions actually in your life. You could be overcoming some addictions in your life and that you have held on to for a long time. Actually, it's not just an addiction that you've been hanging on to. I want to say it's more like old patterns, old cycles in your life, and you're actually starting to see where you have been hanging on to things that you needed to let go of. And you are uh, moving forward, and you're having the courage to move yourself forward and when you do move yourself forward you're actually going to be the phoenix rising there you go taurus that was a quick read but an efficient one there you go have a good one hey guys so this is a quick read for gemini here uh I'm going to do a three card spread for you. could have been having uh, some nightmares or depression about some things um, but just to let you know the nightmares or depression you have are spirit trying to come to you and get you to raise your vibration that's what those are about and not only that but you are actually coming out of the depression that you've been in for a while because you're actually going forth and you're going to be 
putting a lot of hard work into something that you want to create. You want to bring forth something into this world. And that's what you're going to be doing. But you, you've been like really frustrated. And you've been hanging on to a lot of frustration within you. So you actually need to work on your inner child and heal that within you. Because when you go inside of yourself and you start working on those issues within you, when you call yourself out on your own bullshit, that is you starting to heal. That is you taking accountability for what you need to heal within you. And if you just sit back and think that you're perfect and that you don't have anything inside of you to heal, you're not growing. And your soul isn't growing either. So you need to start working on your inner child and that will bring you forth the healing you need to move forward. All right, Gemini. Hey guys, so this is a quick three card read for Cancer. Actually, a four card read because by the time I pull my Oracle card for you at the end. You've been having a lot of stress in your life. Like a lot of stress in your life. Like, you could have been having some arguments or conflicts with somebody in your past, and yeah, you're finally uh, learning to let that go, to let those stress and conflicts go that you've been hanging on to and looking at for a long time now, and you could actually start to work on some long-term goals you, that you have. And not only that, but it could be uh, like your intuition or something is telling you to move forth towards something. And that's your spirit guides with you, Cancer. And they're wanting you to move forth towards something. Your your intuition is really, in, really uh, enlightened right now. That's what I'm getting for you. So whatever your intuition is telling you right now at this moment, listen to it. Yeah. See, because the Phoenix rising, right there you go, Cancer. If you start listening to your intuition, Spirit's bringing you forth onto something that will have you rising out of the ashes, have you rising out of the conflict and stress, have you rising out of all that lower vibe stuff that you are trying so hard to get away from but if you don't listen to your intuition and keep repeating the cycles then spirit can't help you but you have to learn to listen to that intuition all right there you go cancer hey guys so this is a quick three card read for Leo, well, actually a four card read by the time I pull Oracle card. I keep messing up and saying a three card read. But it's actually a four card read by the time I pull a Oracle card for you. Oh, and there's your three cards right there. Oh, actually four. So you could have some uh, wishes coming true right now that... Uh, that you know you have put forth effort on like your manifestations like you know that you have put forth effort on this manifestation so uh, what is happening right now is that you have done the actual work to bring in your manifestation and your manifestation is coming in for you not only is it coming in for you but you are opting to take your spiritual journey also you are opting to go down your spiritual path. Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the signs because they're bringing them in for you for your spiritual journey. 
So the more you start paying attention to the signs, which could be synchronicities, it could be one 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 two 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 three three three. It could be a license plate that you see. It could be a sign that you see. It could be anything like that that you just happen to notice uh, anywhere. It but it has to be a synchronistic order in order for it to be from the universe. Not only that, but you could uh, like somebody could come up to you and just say something that just totally resonates with you and you know that's a message for you from the universe so start paying attention to those things because the universe is trying to get your attention all right leo there you go hey guys so this is a quick uh four card read for virgo You're actually in the middle of taking a leap of faith right now uh, because you've had like a breakthrough and you are very determined into creating this structure, the stability in your life right now for you. So you are actually taking this leap of faith. Not only are you taking this leap of faith, but it's going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of progress that you have been working so hard on lately. And with it bringing you in a lot of stability in your life. Yeah. So, remember though, the universe will test you. Don't go back. You have to walk down that spiritual path. Don't go back because the universe will test you. That's how they know if you're ready or not. For something new. Ah, it's your pride. And help from above. You've got to let this go. You've got to let that pride go. Let that pride go and all else will fall into place. Alright, Virgo. Hey guys, so this is a quick four card read for Libra. You could be overcoming some, um, some battles that you have been having within yourself like within your own mindset so you could be like really doing the inner work on yourself and with me saying that like you could really be doing inner work on yourself and with you doing that inner work on yourself it's gonna lead you to a lot of prosperity and happiness but Spirit is having you right now look at these wounds you have inside of your heart. So these wounds that you have inside of your heart, you're finally coming to realize that you have to heal your heart chakra in order for you to create the life and the things that you want. Because if you don't heal those wounds within you, they will keep coming up. And spirit wants you to heal those in order for you to move forward. So. But I do see a lot of prosperity and happiness coming in for you. Because you are doing the inner work. Courage, yeah. See, it's taking you courage to do that inner work on yourself and, you know, to not bullshit yourself and claim that you don't have no work to do because everybody here has work to do. So take that courage and get that work done That w because spirit is with you. All right, Libra. 
Hey guys, so this is a quick four card read for Scorpio. You could have took some really impulsive action here uh, not too long ago. Like, you could have took some really impulsive action <coughs> to move on from something. Not only that, it's like... You knew somebody was taking advantage of you. So, what you did was you hurried up and you chopped that situation off. Like, you thought about it one day and you ended it the next day. Uh, you're really intuitive, I want to say. And with you being really intuitive, like, you're, ha you're not only healing, but you're having insight about things. So, with you doing that, it's creating, like, a ripple effect in your future. Because with you being able to see the next steps of what's going to happen, you're creating that ripple effect. So everything that's coming for you, you are actually creating it. But you have to quit self-sabotaging. Like I see that with this impulsive action that you did, it you didn't give yourself time to learn the lesson that spirit was wanting you to learn because you have that intuitive sense about you because you have that insight but you are self-sabotaging with that because you have to give yourself time to learn that lesson that spirit wants you to learn but spirit's also wanting you to unleash your creativity so you can go forth and learn some more well there you go scorpio Hey guys, so this is a quick four card read for Sagittarius. At the end of this, I will be pulling one oracle card for you. Yeah, you actually have some uh, money improvements coming in for you. And not only that, uh, because you have cut things out of your life and you're not, you, you are not going to, you, okay, how, uh, I'm trying to word this in a different way. You have actually changed your perspective of the way you was looking at your life. So with you changing your perspective of the way you was looking at your life, you are actually going to be creating a lot more wealth in your life. Not only are you going to be creating a lot more wealth in your life, you're actually going to be creating a new career in your life. So, with you going forth down this new career path, it's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness also. And it could bring in a soulmate. Alright, there you go, Sagittarius. I hope that helps for you. Hey guys, so this is a quick four card read for... Capricorn.
could actually be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you are actually, uh, you, you, you actually let go of some old issues in your life. And because you are being very determined, like you are a very determined person to go forth. I just want to pull one more card for you because it shows me that, yeah, that you are taking a giant leap of faith to go towards your manifestation and your manifestation is coming in for you. So with you taking that leap of faith and trusting the universe, your manifestation is coming in for you. Yeah, see, you could be having dreams about your manifestation also coming in, but your dreams that you want to create are coming in for you. All right, well, there you go, Capricorn. It didn't take long for this reading at all. It was very short, sweet, and to the point. Your dreams are coming true. Hey guys, so this is a quick read for Aquarius. A quick four card read for Aquarius. Yeah, I knew that was going to come out. Yeah, you're actually releasing some burdens that you've been hanging on to. And you are actually moving forward. I just want to pull one more card for you. Yeah, you're actually moving forward into something better, into something uh, that you're wanting to create because you've been hanging on to these burdens and this heavy weight within you for such a long time that you're finally lifting your vibration. You're finally seeing that what you was doing by hanging on to this this vibration of where you was trying to stay at and spirit was trying to pull you out of there, you are finally starting to see within yourself that you was lowering your own vibration by staying there. So now with you stepping outside of that and you looking at it from the outside in, you're seeing that it was you, your thought patterns that was causing this. Now with you changing that and you stepping out of these burdens that you have been hanging on to for a long time, you're uh, actually coming into something a lot more better and you're actually learning to raise your vibration in more of a natural way. And not only with that, you are going to be stepping outside of this is so serious vibe. You're going to be stepping more into the vibe of, I want to say, fun and joy for you, is what I'm getting. Yeah. You're rejecting something. It's not a rejection coming for you. You are rejecting something. And... Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the signs because they're sending you signs all around you. All right, Aquarius. Hey, guys. So this is a quick four-card read for Pisces. way too many. I'll take the ones that flipped. You could be dealing with a Leo also. You could be coming out of out of soul searching right now. Like you have been in hermit mode for a really long time is what I'm getting. And you could be uh, coming out of this hermit mode and because you're very determined to go towards something that you're wanting to create 
like you're very determined to go towards something that you're that you are creating is what I'm getting yeah and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness because you're stepping outside of this hermit mode and you're going forth towards what you want to create so with that bringing you in a lot of happiness and you stepping outside of hermit mode yeah I'm going to pull you one more. Yeah, see? I want to say this is you coming together with your higher self. The soulmate card, that's what I'm picking up, is you, you're finally coming together with your higher self, and you're getting help from above to do that. Like, you've asked for this help from above to do that because you are on a spiritual transformation right now, Pisces. All right, well... There you go. I hope that helped you.